Today we're here at uh, Satworks. Let me just show you Satworks. This is uh, we where we do our ceramic coating. Satworks. This is uh, our friend Andronigo. Say hi, Andronigo. Hi. And uh, this is where he uh, coats all our uh, manifolds. Well, I'll explain a little bit what uh, zirconia uh, coating is and where it comes from. Uh, am I right in saying it comes from Formula One? Yeah. It came. It, they used to use it as well yeah. back in the day. So there's various stages of, of of coating a manifold, and it's not it's not a simple process. Actually, it's quite it's quite a labor intensive. So let me just flip the uh, the different stages. So what we've got here, this is a manifold which has been sandblasted, and it's not your uh, your household sandblaster. It's a it's a very industrial grade sandblaster that can get down and make the metal uh, give it a finish like what you can see there. From this point, uh, we go into what in, in is the what next is stage, which is like a, a sort of an undercoat, but it's 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 a it's a barrier that uh, sits on top of the metal, which al uh, allows the uh, ceramic to adhere. And what was it called? Thermal shock protection. So, so that thermal shock protection yes. Yes. is going to give um, uh, the surface uh, rough. For, a rough, rough surface for the uh, um, zirconia coating to uh, adhere to. Now, zirconia is a form of ceramic. Yes. Yeah, but it's it's the highest grade that you can get your hands on. So. What we've got here is this is just the first pass so you might see there's it, it's a bit patchy at the moment because that's what happens the first time round, and, and then then you go to the next stage where we have the coating um, more fully adhered to but then this is still on the workbench so it's still got uh, some work to do um, so at this point what we're going to do is probably we're going to actually get the process done the, the final stage on top of the zirconia you could use the manifold immediately like that but what we do we take it one step further and we coat it with a, a titanium coat on top of that which um, is stain resistant and it just adds an it, it, uh, another layer on top of that for more thermal protection so um, what I'll do is I'll end this part here and then we'll pick up uh, the video when uh, Andronigo is actually adding the coat onto the uh, manifold all right, so what's happening now is uh, Andronico is just getting ready uh, to start working on uh, applying. What are we applying now? We're applying zirconia. more. Zirconia. So we're going to add some, uh, we're going to carry on adding zirconia to the, um, to the system. We've got our gas feeds. I mean, this is uh, essentially uh, how much temperature we're talking? 1,640 degrees Celsius. So that's 1,640 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to stand a little bit further back. Um, I don't want to get in the in the line of fire here. But here we go. This is it. So, so what we've got here is uh, we're adding a new material now, and this is the titanium. Uh, this is actually going to get a bit more violent, so uh, hopefully the camera on my phone can, uh, can capture what's going on. So here we go. This is titanium.
can see there, what's just happened is uh, it's turned like a dark blue, and that's actual uh, titanium uh, on top of the zirconia, and that's going to obviously protect it from stains. The, 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 the manifold will, will remain looking brand new for, for the entire life of the manifold. But not only that, this manifold, the, the, the zirconia coating will not crack over time. It's, uh, it's, it's on there for life. All right, so uh, that uh, shows you exactly how it's, not exactly how it's done because in fact, a lot of the powders there uh, are just not off the shelf powders. Andronigo has worked over many, many years perfecting his uh, mixtures. So there's a lot of uh, powder mixturing going on inside the titanium, the zirconia and the thermal barrier shock. Actually, the thermal barrier shock is the actual secret source which Andronigo's um, uh, coatings never crack over time. If you, uh, if you see any other uh, ceramic coated uh, manifolds and parts, they don't tend to last uh, too long. They tend to, uh, with expansion and contraction of the metals, they tend to crack and then you've got to reapply the coating. Um, so anyway, I'll end it off here. I uh, hope that you've understood something new and you've seen a process that you might have never seen before. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, comment, and I'll try and answer all the comments. I'll read all the comments. And uh, I'll just say another special thanks to Andronigo for sharing his, uh, very much. his trade with us today. Catch you on the next one.